Eating disorders are underdiagnosed and underrecognized illnesses, although awareness is higher now than ever before. We at Ellen Mead are one of the UK's few centres to specialise entirely in this illness. We're able to admit patients from anywhere in the world. We have a complete care pathway from inpatient to outpatient, centred here in London. We have services for NHS patients as well as for private patients. Consider this as a question. How do you, as a parent, a GP, a teacher, or someone with an eating disorder yourself, know when to seek help? How hard is it to know that the problem is really one that requires clinical intervention? It's seldom obvious. Symptoms can be hidden. Body weight is not always an indicator. Self-diagnosis is very difficult for people with an eating disorder and the awareness of family, friends and professionals can be a lifeline. Here at Ellen Mead, we help you assess the situation. Ellen Mead is a leader in the field of eating disorders and we contribute to much needed research. Our staff collaborate at national and international level on best practice. There is still a lot of research needed and we like our staff to hear firsthand from experts at our fortnightly academic sessions. We host experts including psychiatrists, paediatricians, psychologists and other health professionals. This is an important way for our staff to have continuous professional development and be reflective about practice. Treating an eating disorder is a close partnership between the patient, their family and the whole multidisciplinary team. We get to know each other very well and so there's a lot of feedback. Our families and patients send cards, letters and they often come back for visits. We love to hear about the achievement of our young people after they leave hospital. Ellen Mead School, on site at Ellen Mead Ridgeway, is an Ofsted outstanding rated school with A-star achievements for students. The school provides a full curriculum from primary to A-levels and works closely with home schools to support the patient post-discharge. Both school and hospital work together to nurture each patient's strengths and skills. Pet therapy is among the many activities patients enjoy and one of our patients brought her own pet pygmy hedgehog to be here with her. Our wards are safe, supportive and homely. People need strength, courage and stamina to fight this illness and I never cease to be impressed with the resource they have when given the help to do so.